Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makoto Man at YouTube with a, another model video. What I'm not going to be doing is talking about the current conflict in Europe. What I will do is talk about the 4D models BTR80 released sometime late 2022 in 170 second scale and purchased for approximately 4 US dollars. A Cold War era armored personnel carrier manufactured and used by the Soviet Union and many aligned countries since then till through to today. The box includes clear independent instructions, two runners, two halves of the hull, a set of steel axles and two internal weights. A clean crisp polystyrene injection mold job with very crisp detail. In its correct colour, painted wheels and snap fit functionality. A massive improvement from the first generation of 72nd armor but still quite cheap with a few perks. I'll be using my usual standard scale modeling method of double cutting the parts off the runner, trimming the nub and sanding any flash and imperfections down which there's very few of including injector pin marks. The use of metal parts and articulation in the wheels are quite nice. If you were to do a outright snap build, the process shouldn't take any further than five minutes. I'm adhering all surfaces together utilizing plastic cement. The turret and gun are also fully articulated. Yet due to its pretty good fit and design, there are no visible seam or join lines and it's all either hidden under the model or where there's natural panels. Major criticism, some of the stowage handrails and armaments are a bit on the thick side for easier assembly and injection molding, though I could see that this is more so for the hands of kids educational and wargaming applications. With a reasonable and convincing proportion, detail and scale, all of those problems can easily be fixed with a little modification aftermarket parts. All snap fit together on, on display, I'm absolutely blown away with the detail presented and how good it looks in its natural injection molded plastic. Playability is kind of fun, reminds me of an old airfix kit or matchbox, uh, yet far easier to build. At the start of this year I've seen a lot of footage and videos, especially rustic Russian tanks with wood and birch trees added as stowage and armour. Couldn't help myself getting various thickness of styrene and scratching it up with 60-40 grit sandpaper for wood grain and gluing them into place. A bit of the sprue runners was melted under a lighter, scratched up and made to look like convincing trees. Painting wise, these are, these are vehicles that have been stored outside for about 20 to 40 years and may vary in tones of olive green to Russian Soviet green. First I broke down the wheels and connected the hull to an alligator clip and hit it with generic automotive grade filler lacquer primer. After drying a quick visual inspection shows there was no imperfections or issues I need to be worried about. With some custom mixed automotive paint I have two tones of green that was reserved for the North Korean tank project which I'll blend in a slightly different fashion to be closer to the reference materials. Base coat laid nicely in three separate sessions as not to touch or damage the surface. First step was the darkest green, no adherence issue. After drying I moved on to a lighter green which is the same colour with a bit of white or grey added. This was shaded highlights where the sun or light is likely to hit. The third session was picking up the very top of the armour in the lightest hobby branded green. Moving to hand painting, I got tire black by Mr. Hobby and coloured the outer rim by hand. Plus other small details from the search lights, stowage and extra wood armour I put all over the place. Dry brushing a lighter colour of brown really captured those heavy scuff marks from the sandpaper and brought upon a wood grain effect. Second session of drying, glued the wheels on. 
Then step by step by hand in three tones started shading the birch trees from a grey to a white and those lovely black tiger stripes. After 24 hours for a bit of soot filth definition and shadowing I mixed Tamir accent colour with turpentine gum for a sludge wash to capture all the panels, bolts and raised details plus the stowage I've added. Mist weathering colour for the wheels and rust lines around their vehicle. And with a fine brush, the rattle can sprayed a Z for the special military operation zones. Another day allowed to dry and a heavy coat of matte clear to dull the glossiness. Fantastic build, the detail popped quite nicely if you're to hand paint or airbrush and a joy to weather. I'm very happy how my efforts have uh, come out in copying reference material rather than just going off the box art. Being a bit creative and going off the norm with more stowage and the tree trunks was just a lot of fun. Pretty pleased with the convincing finish put out and very happy with my effort. Outside the positive light of the build and experience, I don't take any pleasure in the politics or what is going on over there at the moment, just modelling what I've seen on the news and via online, not paying heed to either side. Politics removed, a reminder that we're just modelling what we see and freezing a time in history for the present moment to be viewed. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content catch the description section down below for references and we'll see you guys next time bye